Let's try again. We've all been there. There are just some words or sentences we just can't get right. This right here is Linguix, which is a grammar app that will help you write better. Let's test it out. I've been using Linguix for around two years now, and it is a newer product than Grammarly, which some of you might know, and Grammarly is an alternative right now to Linguix. But Linguix, they have come far, they have four extensions to four different browsers, they have integrations to Word and Outlook, and then they're working on some interesting things, which we will dive in later in this video. For now, let's start testing Linguix. So right now we are in the Linguix editor where we can write anything we would like to and then Linguix would help us editing our text and making sure that the grammar is actually on point. And what I will do is that I will now write some text as you can see I've already done and then I'll see how Linguix is editing it compared to Grammarly itself. So here you can see that this is a demo text from Linguix where it has some mistakes and it's super easy to fix these mistakes, you simply just hover and then you change whatever it is that Linguix is telling you to do. So right now all of the misspellings, they have been fixed, but there is still some grammar issues if you ask me with some commas missing maybe. But let's see how Grammarly will take the exact same text and edit it. So I'll just copy this text. Now we're within Grammarly. And the text is almost as perfect as Linguix. The only thing that Grammarly wants to change is that they want that I'm more precise, they want that I create some clarity. This is not a function we have within Linguix, but it is something we have within Grammarly right now. So I can easily just add a transitioning phase. As well up here, it wants me to add some clarity to make it easier to read. So this is a more precise sentence. That is the only thing that Grammarly wants to edit compared to Linguix. So on the grammar side, this is really great. Now we're back in the Linguix platform. So let's try and type a new type of sentence to see how it takes my input and converts it. So now I have written another sentence, actually a couple of sentences. And to begin with, I didn't add any issues, but then I started to add some grammar issues. So here you can see it is telling me to use either there or here, and it's telling me to change this word as well. One thing that Linguix is doing compared to Grammarly is it's giving me a lot of options. Here it is giving me two options because it's confused by the words. And here it's giving me eight different options that I can use to change my sentence. Let's try and take the exact same wording here into Grammarly and see what they do. So within Linguix we had two issues, but within Grammarly we have five issues. And one of them only is about clarity. The rest are actual issues. So here it is telling me that I should use the text instead of my text. It is telling me that I should choose a different word than fairly, maybe reasonable. And then it's telling me the same two issues we had in Linguix as well. So you can see Linguix is great for those grammar issues you just want to use. And you want to write a text with no grammar issues, write comma and punctuation as well. If you want to take it a step deeper and you want to have a more clarity in your text, then you need to go with Grammarly. Back into the Linguix platform, as mentioned in the beginning, they have both browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge, but they also have integrations to Outlook and an integration to Word as well. So you can see here all of the extensions they have at the moment, and this is for your desktop versions. So even though Linguix doesn't have a desktop app right now, then they do support you adding Linguix functionality to both your Microsoft Word and to your Outlook as well. Very easy and it's super easy to set up. We can also, within the Linguix platform, do a lot of interesting things. We do have a dictionary as well. So if you have some words or some wording that you use, you don't want Linguix to continue to fix for you, then you can easily add them in here. So as I do a lot of product reviews, I'm adding the product names in here that I'm reviewing, so it doesn't tell me to change that or maybe I did a misspelling. It's very easy and you can both add them in here as simple as that, I just added Linguix, or you can do it while it is you write and Linguix is changing the text for you as well. Another thing you can use Linguix for are shortcuts. So in the shortcuts, it's very simple to write a lot of text 
by just simply adding your shortcut. So if you have a sentence or an email or a long text that you write a lot of times, then you can save a lot of time by using the shortcuts. So either you can choose to add from library, which is a lot of pre-made templates already, or you can use your own one. So for now, I'll use this short code here. So you can see that the short code text is dear name, please meet and so further. So you can see all the text here. I can copy this one to my own shortcuts and then I can edit it. So for this shortcut, I'll just call it introduction. This means that every time I write slash slash introduction, Linkwix will automatically for me change the short code with the new text that I've already written. So let's try and go to the editor and try it out. So right now I'm in a different editor because it doesn't work within the editor of in Linkwix themselves. So you can see that if I write forward slash forward slash, it will now show me all of my short codes. So you remember the short code there, you can see how fast and easy it was for me to enter the short code and then have it ready. This is an easy way. And if you write a lot of emails, you can really save a lot of time by setting this up. It might take a little time setting up, but as soon as you have it set up, then you will just save a lot of time by using these short codes. But let's go back to the Linkwix platform. So within your Linkwix user, you can set multiple preferences. For instance, my native language is Danish. So every time I write Danish, Linkwix is not trying to change it or to grammar fix it based on English. And then I'm writing in British English as well. For the personalization, and this means that how Linkwix wants to personalize my text and suggest changes. So I write very business oriented and my English level is advanced. So that is the suggestions that I want for my Linkwix account. I can also see statistics as well for this specific document that I'm building right now. And this is stuff like reading time, speaking time and readability as well. Lastly, then I can export it as a PDF and that is the editor of Linkwix. It's super simple to use and you can see it's very appealing as well. So we've been through the dictionary shortcuts and browser extension. What Linkwix is really missing in my opinion is a desktop app. What we see with Grammarly and they do have a desktop app is that Grammarly enables grammar throughout all of my applications on my MacBook. This means that whatever application I'm in, because I have the Grammarly desktop version, then I get grammar options for everything that I write within my desktop version apps. So if Linkwix could make that as a solution, they would really come far, even further than they are now. But for the near future, I think the desktop version is far ahead, but for the near future, then I know that they are adding Spanish as a second language. This is where they really start to separate themselves from Grammarly, because Grammarly, they only focus on English, and I do know that Grammarly are excellent at this, but they have no other languages. So the fact that Linkwix is now adding Spanish as a second language, now they're starting to differentiate themselves from Grammarly and try to take a different route. So it will be so interesting to see how they will be able to manage this and if they will be able to manage the same type of grammar fixes as we see for the English language, because the Spanish language has completely different rules. So the Linkwix app right now is cheaper than Grammarly, a couple of dollars cheaper. And it does make sense because Grammarly, they have more advanced rules, which we are also going to see very soon in the Linkwix app. And then overall, it's just a better app, especially because they have the desktop version. But I want to give Linkwix four and a half stars. I think it's a great app and they've really developed far within the last two years. So we're seeing more and more advanced rules. But if you want to combine your writing skills with content writing, then you can watch my latest review of Robin Eyes up here so you can get started on your SEO skills. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.